Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you all those little jobs and chores around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today, uh, we're going to look at wire nuts. Now, I know that sounds kind of an, an, a weird thing. A wire nut is a piece of plastic that you put onto multiple wires in the your electrical wires, so they are all connected. Now, there are different varieties of them, and the reason we're doing this is because in the last couple of videos that we have done, I changed out a, um, a light switch and an electrical socket, uh, a electrical outlet. So <clears throat> once I was inside of those, um, I've been getting comments and emails. What are those things that are behind? What is that orange thing that's back there? Now, again, this is a, a, a videos for the absolute beginners, uh, and of course, they're going to have questions. Um, so let's get into that. Let's, um, let's open it back up again. Let's open up the light switch, and we'll take a look and see what's behind the light switch and how the wires are all connected. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the light switch cover. And I'm going to pull out the light switch itself so we can see everything that's behind the light switch itself. See all the wires, see how they're all connected together. All right, so let's take this off. It takes just a moment to do. And of course, we turned off the electric, always turn off the electric. In this case, it's a demo, so there's no electric going to it. So, but what do you do first? That's right, you turn off the electric. Make sure this never works to anything. Make sure that the, if you have to, shut off the whole room if you're not sure, and then that's fine. All right, so we'll go through some of the things that we learned in the, in the in the uh, past videos that we have done. All right, so what we have here is the light switch is coming out. And behind the light switch, this is the orange things that they were referring to. What, what are those things? And that's a good question. It's a very good question. All right, so let's pull out all those wires and take a look and see what we got, okay? All right. So, what we actually have back here is, there you go, now oh, you're cooking, all right. All right, what we have here, these are called wire nuts. Now these are the little bit more modern ones. The older fashioned ones kind of looked like this, okay? And what you do with those is, as the wires come up, you take this wire nut and you and you twist them together. Now I'm going to show you how to do that uh, with the ground, and because it, they're already bare wires. And then we've got I'm going to show you something else while we're here. I'm going to because once these once these orange type wire nuts are on here, not only are there orange ones because this one will do three wires but connect three wires, this one will connect four wires, and you can also get these that connect two wires. But no matter how many wires you're connecting, you can still use, I've only got two wires in a three, and that's all right, it's still gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna take my, my electrical snips here, and I'm going to cut the wires, because you can't pull these out. You can't, you, once they're in there, they're in there. That's how secure they are. They're very nice. So once it's in there, that's it. You gotta cut them off and start over if you need to do that. So what we're going to do here is we see that there are one, two, three wires. Now, 
if I wanted to, if I wanted to, I could take these three wires, just like this. And this is the old way of doing things. You put them together like this, just like that. And then you twist them. You twist them together. If you can't do it with your fingers, because they're pretty heavy wires, that's what these are for. You twist the wires together. Okay, and then you put on the wire nut. Now the wire nut's got a spring on the inside of that. And once that twisting catches that spring, it stays on pretty secure. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and twist it on, and that's the way to do it. Now, that seems kind of like a lot of work, but it worked out pretty good. And if you notice, um, these are a larger unit than this. Look how big this is in comparison to this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how these orange ones actually go on. So we're going to undo this. We're going to make sure that they're nice and straight because they got to be nice and straight. So I'm going to go like this. Make sure everything is nice and straight. I'm going to reattach this ground wire to the lights to the light switch cuz it fell off accidentally. Okay. Let's reattach that. I know my hands in the way. I know. All right. So we got three straight pieces now. Let's straighten this guy out just a little bit. Do they have to be perfectly straight? It really does help. If I have to, if I wanted to, I could just clip off those and start all over again. But in this particular case, I want to show you, even if they're a little bent, we can still work it. See the three holes? Each one of these wires is going to go into each one of the holes. Now, you can see that there's a metal bar that's going across here, and once these go all the way in, I'll be able to see the wire inside of each one of these little tubes, and then I know that the wire is touching this bar that's in here. Now watch this. We're going to go with the ground first here, and, and listen. Okay, it's in. It's in all the way. Can you see it in there? Let's do this one. There. There, it's all the way in. And the third one. It's all the way in. All three wires are in. The convenient thing is, is now that they're all in, it's nice and flat and it can shove back very, very nicely. Now let's say, for instance, you had to, uh, you wanted to uh, uh, do the white wires or the black wires with the same thing. Now we did with the ground and that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this over here. I'm going to shift this over here and we're going to snip this off with our snips like that. And now we can't put a, a connector on without these being stripped. Now what does that mean, stripped? Now, the wire itself is what the electricians call is a 14-2, all right? And that's what you need to know because on this uh, tool here, you're gonna see different numbers, 20, 18, 16, 14, and 12, and 10. It's the thickness of the wire. This particular one is 14. So there's a little gauge there for 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right on the 14. I clamp down and pull off this white casing. Now, how, do, how far up do I have to go? That's a great question. There's a little gauge right here. It says nothing. But what it does is that you can put your, your, your wire across the tool, put your thumb 
thumbnail right there, right at the edge, and that's how far you got to take off. All right, so I'm going to go to 14, clamp down on it, give it a twist, and watch this. And it comes right off. Isn't that nice? All right, let's do the other one, okay? All right, so I'm going to go like this. I'm going to put my thumb right there. I'm going to put it on to 14. Right there. I'm going to give it a little twist. And look at that. Now, watch this. They're nice and straight. Here's our connector. We're going to put one in here. Did you hear that? Click. It doesn't actually click, it goes thump. And then the other one, there. Look, now it's connected. Those two are connected. They're not coming off. With the wire nuts, the old ones, they always had some sort of a tendency, if you had the wires spun on the inside of here, sometimes one wasn't spun tight enough and a wire would come loose. These, that doesn't happen. As long as you can see the top of the top of the wire at the, at the top of the unit here, you're going to be just fine. And that's how that's how those work. So it's it's not rocket science. It's just a new way of doing things, and it works out pretty well. All right, we learned about some wire nuts. We learned about the ones that you can twist on and the kind that you can just push on. Uh, the push on ones are a little bit more progressive, and they work much much better than the than the uh, the twisty ones. And I hope that you you learned something pretty nice with that. I it, you can buy them in packages of with the with the two hole, three hole, four hole. You could probably even get five hole if you wanted to. Um, you have to go to an, a, a probably a special electric store for something like that. Um, the more you the more you look around the stores the, you can find the, the product that's going to make your job a whole lot easier like that little tool that i showed you with the blue handle uh, electricians use that all the time so it's, it's it's you don't have to be an electrician to buy one they run about 30 35 dollars for a good one and once you buy one eh, chances are you're not going to need another one because they are pretty good get the better one if you're going to buy one get the better one don't let ever don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do it of course you can do it. If they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. And practice. Practice, practice, practice. Please subscribe. And thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.